Good morning everyone and welcome to a little vlog, um, little get ready with me style video. Today, me and my cousin are heading off to see Busted again. If you know me by now, you know that I absolutely love Busted, one of my favourite childhood bands and as an adult, also one of my favourite bands as well. So we're going to go and watch them in Taunton. Um, it's about an hour away from Bristol, so really looking forward to it. It's going to be a nice little drive, nice little afternoon out and watching my favourite band together. So cannot wait for that. As always, I'm not a qualified makeup artist and I'm not very good at doing makeup. So it's going to be quite minimal makeup today, um, especially with typical British weather. So heading in with a bit of primer first, I'm going in with the Collection Primed and Ready Shine Control Serum Primer. It's got a dollop of it on the back of my hand. As you can already see, I've got my eyelashes and my brows done, mainly because I've got a bit of holiday coming up, a um, bit of time off work, so I just thought I'd pamper myself and kind of give myself a little glow up, so that's what I've done lately. So yeah, I love that for myself. I'm actually going to put my hair up because it's getting in my way. So for my base, like I said, I'm going in with a little bit of a lighter kind of look. I've got the L'Oreal Paris, I couldn't even speak then, <laughs> I almost choked on my words. L'Oreal Paris Lumi Glotion in the shade Light Glow and Medium Glow. Basically, I use the Medium Glow... Um, as like a contour kind of effect and then the light glow in the places I want it to be light and glowy so that's what we're gonna do yeah I haven't done a get ready with me for literally years and again I haven't really been on YouTube actively for years either to be honest with you but I really want to get into it again I'm working less hours now so I want to kind of pick up on some hobbies and interests that I really enjoy and YouTube has always been one of them for me um but yeah that's the first bit on I don't know if you can see if it's on to be honest with you it's that low coverage now we're gonna go in with a little bit of hmm, what should we go next concealer this one again is l'oreal paris this is not obviously an ad you can tell i just went to boots one day and just picked up all the l'oreal products i actually got color match for this one if you know you know like going into boots and it, or any kind of store and being like pestered by people trying to sell you their products and buy this and do this it's just such an awkward experience i absolutely hate it um but i got hammered down one day and sat down in a chair and they literally like tested loads of products on me they got me when i was really vulnerable you know i was like you know what let's just give it a go and yeah i basically ended up buying so much of l'oreal paris stuff um so yeah they skinted me out for that i don't blame them they were good at what they were doing proper salesmen you know <laughs> yeah so that's the reason why i've got a few more l'oreal products than i would normally buy i don't go all the way up to my eyes with a concealer anymore um basically i find that it just kind of like it just doesn't work very well and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do it doesn't really conceal and highlight my face in a way that i want it to so i kind of put it literally here and then blend it up towards my eye and i feel like that just feels better i don't know why i, I don't know what the science is behind it but i just feel like starting it here and then blending it upwards just looks more natural so yeah i really like it i don't really know why i'm giving you makeup advice because i suck at makeup but this is just what i do so i don't really know what else to say i'm just gonna do a light contour i don't really do my chin anymore um especially since my isle of white video oh my god like the fake tan and everything the eyebrows the hair i feel like i would i must have been in some kind of like self-destruct mode with that whole appearance like the hair was vibing but i just don't think i really pulled it off especially with the eyebrows and especially with the tan as well as other health stuff going on like i hated the way i looked in that video but i loved the content of the video if that makes sense like i really enjoyed the experience so i felt like i had to post it even though i just don't i just don't feel my best in it if i'm being honest i just feel like it doesn't look like me at all you can just tell like there's something behind the eyes you know like i'm just in a bit of a lost place um generally but yeah i've gone back to a little bit of a natural color now which you'll see once i do my hair and stuff later so i've had a bit of a transformation since that video and the eyebrows are a little bit more feminine the eyes are a bit more feminine and the makeup is just not going to be too heavy anymore i'm over it i am really really over it i think a lot of women are feeling like that lately stripping back yourself and just being a little bit more natural and embracing your natural features there's no reason to kind of want to be like anyone else or trying to look a certain way to please i'm not even just please anyone but you kind of get a little bit lost on social media in the world of like what you feel like you should look like anyway i'm in a good place about my appearance i feel a bit more confident hence why i'm doing a little get ready with me because i wouldn't normally do this if i'm feeling low or down so that's a good vibe so yeah that is my contour blended in oh i didn't even tell you what i use i use the rare beauty um bright side bronzer stick love this it just glides on it's just so smooth and lightweight love it um and to go with that then do we go with the pink or the coral makeup by mitchell blush i'm never never sure because i love these colors so much i just can never decide hmm don't you really know what i'm feeling should i just go for like i'm gonna go for a natural vibe if i don't break it on the floor obviously so i'm just gonna put a little bit here on my cheek i'm just gonna blend it in just around this area i'm not gonna go too crazy with it and blend it like 
all the way up my face but we're gonna keep it cute keep it nice in the middle like blush should be especially for me because my facial features are so all over the place lately i've been fluctuating in weight i'm anemic there's all sorts going on um i'm not gonna bore you with the details but yeah um i have been through the wars a little bit lately i'm not gonna lie um it could be worse though it could literally be worse i know that so we're all allowed to have our struggles and our things that you know don't go too well in life and we're allowed to talk about it you know but i do find if i use too much of this color i do look a little bit like noddy um <laughs> so we're not gonna do that either so yeah that is my blusher done that's my contour that's my concealer that's my base done even though i've had my eyebrows done recently i still like to go in with a little bit of a brown mascara type of thing but i'm not gonna put any other product on other than this because they are quite nice the way they are first time i've ever been happy with my eyebrows done professionally i've had so many horror stories i i, I just can't even explain it but me and my sister both feel the same right because we've got quite natural eyebrows if you go and get a brow lamination done they just look horrendous they look so big and they end up looking like I, I will literally show a picture now i'm going to expose myself but this is what they look like last time i had them done and you can see them a little bit at the isle of white festival video and that was like a week after i had them done and they just really overpower my face and all i can see when i look in the mirror is those eyebrows and i am just never going to get that done again i'm over it i don't know how to explain it but i just find that sometimes if i try and do too much it just doesn't work i feel like natural is kind of the best i say that with lashes and my brows done but i think you get what i'm trying to say if you put too much and you kind of try and change your face too much in a way that's just not you that looks cute on there it's like a little flower um yeah i kind of don't i don't really like it to be honest with you. i just want to keep her as natural as i can at all times if that makes sense what i might do now is just going to go over all of that with like the powder versions kind of set it in place so i'm just going to use the collection sculpt and highlight as you can see i love this one it's been used a lot and i'm just going to set my contour in place a little bit just kind of enhance it as well literally like that um not much effort in there at all i don't really like doing my under area anymore it just looks like i make myself look bigger when i do it so i'm gonna go in now with a blush to set in my makeup by mitchell blush in that nice i think it's in a melon sorbet shade i don't even know if they sell that i've looked on boots and i just can't find it anywhere um but i literally bought it in a mystery bundle from tiktok one time i try and use as little as i can every time because i'm scared it's going to run out and i can't find it again um for my eyes i'm literally just going to use a little bit of like a soft glittery highlight shade all over just to kind of make it look sparkly and nice and as if i am going out a little bit as you can tell again love this palette and i'm just gonna glide that all over my eye just really lightly i'm not going to put too much effort into that and that's it i think happy with that i'm not going to complain the next step is to set in the under eye area again i'm not going to use this too close to my under eye I just feel like it looks better when it's just sort of here um i find that the light kind of sits here on my face and it just brightens up my face naturally by doing that and just lightly dab that on kind of bring the look together i suppose been a massive fan of busted as you may or may not know since i was old enough to understand music basically which is a long time ago i think i was like seven years old which sounds like yeah it is a long time ago it's 20 years ago i've been a fan of busted so yeah i'm really really happy to keep being a consistent fan i just really love listening to their music and yeah i just like traveling to see them as well like seeing them in bristol don't get me wrong it was really really cool and obviously didn't have to pay for hotels and travel and all that sort of stuff but there's something about going away and seeing your band like staying in a hotel or traveling there makes you all excited to see them it builds up the the moment the suspense i guess so yeah really like that i am almost done now i'm just setting it in with another collection product this is the pressed powder and it's in the shade candlelight that is my makeup i don't think i'm missing anything um i don't really put a lot of highlighter on anymore these days either i see it is a concert i might just put a little bit of glow on um again using that same palette i use for my eyes might just use a little rosy kind of shade here maybe just to kind of pop out that blush so all i have left to do now is set it in place again that lady sold me the infallible three second set and mist from l'oreal as much as this is good it absolutely stinks it just smells like pure hairspray and just spraying it all over your face it feels really uncomfortable so i'm not going to use that today i'm going to use the revolution watermelon fixing spray um it's quite lightweight this one i don't know how good it is it is a cheap product like all the stuff i'd use generally are quite affordable other than the rare beauty stuff which i kind of treated myself to one year for my birthday so yeah i'm going to spray that all over 
and set that in place so yeah all that's left to do now is get my hair done and we are good to go i don't really know what i'm gonna do for my hair i've not really been enjoying it having it down i feel like i look better with my hair up or styled as i mentioned i recently had it done and colored professionally i was this close to doing it myself and i'm so glad i didn't because the damage is just yeah we're not gonna go there i've had it cut about three or four times this year because i really want to kind of grow it out naturally now and hopefully that will work i just feel like balayage and the brunette is just going to be here to stay now to be honest with you it's just so low maintenance and i just feel like it's just more me this may or may not be the last time you see my hair this short because i'm over it i just want to i just feel like i just want to have long hair for the first time in my life naturally the longest i've had my hair was with the extensions a couple of years ago but i just hated the way they felt in my hair like when you wash them and just trying to oh uh, i don't know i'm just not a big fan of them i don't mind the clipping ones that you can take in and out but i don't feel like i'll get nanos for a long time now because not only that they have to thin your hair out so much to kind of like blend it in naturally and because my hair is quite naturally thick at the root area um i have to wear like 150 grams which is quite heavy for me and i do struggle with headaches and stuff so i'm not going to put myself through that again if i don't have to but just look how much thicker this is compared to years ago i mean i don't know if you guys have followed me for a long time or not if you're new here but so much better so yeah i'm gonna head off now i'm gonna finish my hair and then come back to you guys because my camera battery is dying i need to keep it charged ready for later so i'll come back to you guys when i'm all fully dressed and done hope you enjoyed watching me get ready and i will see you guys in a little bit hi guys so i'm now all dressed and ready to go to busted i've got my little busted bucket hat on which i bought in bristol for i think it was 12 pounds which is quite a bargain to be honest with you so i'm gonna wear that because it is really really windy outside i've also got like a thermal vest on because again windy cold it's just not gonna be a vibe um i don't know why i keep saying vibe it's my new favorite word at the moment so hopefully one day i'll grow out of it but today's not that day just got some black flares on as well like a sport kind of material um so super comfortable super stretchy pair them with a pair of black oswegos probably my favorite go-to pair of trainers i wear them with everything i've got like so many different colors now um and all of them are second hand from vintage so love that for myself i've also put a bit of lipstick on as well just because why not i've got the maybelline new york vinyl lip stain it's like a gloss color but it stays on for literally ages um i accidentally went to sleep with it one night and i woke up and it was still on so it's that good um, and i paired that with the cappuccino collection lasting lip liner as well and this one is in the shade for the lip gloss cheeky who remembers the cheeky girls my god that's a throwback <laughs> i wonder if they'll ever come back who knows um and then also because of the weather i've got this little reusable poncho as well to wear just in case it does get wet so i'm gonna put that into my bag as well just because i don't want to get rained on also got this bracelet on which my mum bought me for christmas a couple of years ago got some gold hoops in because why not and yeah so i'm gonna go pick my cousin up now we're gonna go see a dog rocco first because rules are rules i have to see the dog every time i go around so yeah we're gonna go and see the dog we're gonna pick up my cousin and then we're gonna make our way to taunton um like i said it could be around an hour drive hopefully the traffic isn't too bad because normally the motorway is and it is a bank holiday today it's actually bank holiday monday so i'm not really sure what the traffic's going to be like so hopefully we make it i don't even know where i'm going to park yet but hopefully we find somewhere reasonably close because it does finish quite late and it's getting darker lately like the sunset's been setting around half eight eight o'clock now so we are losing a lot of daylight um i'm not a weather expert i don't know why i'm giving you a detail there but yeah um so looking forward to it i'll catch up with you guys whenever i see you guys again and hopefully you will enjoy seeing us enjoy the whole busting experience so see you guys then bye See you later. Go! Oh, look how cute. Oh, you're gonna bend me down. Oh my goodness. Who let the dogs out? Hi guys, so we've just arrived in Taunton. It took around an hour and a half to get here. The traffic was so bad. But yeah, we're here now. We're gonna have a little explore um, to Vivery Park. I'm not sure what time the car parking closes around here, but we'll figure that out as we go along. Um, but yeah, cannot wait to go now. Really happy, really looking forward to it. So yeah, let's go and see Busted again. I definitely feel a bit spoiled. I do spoil myself really well, which is one thing I'm good at. Why not? Why not treat yourself to these things? Yeah, let's go there. So we're just walking to the Vivery Park now. Apologies I've got that wrong, but I've been saying it that way the whole time. So yeah, Vivery, Vivery, we know. So it's five past five, it's just opened and there's already a lot of people here. Hi Andy, can't wait for tonight's concert. I've always loved to fly. <laughs> we're gonna play a song and track them out and see if you can bounce around the crowd for a bit. Are you up for that? Woo! Get it on the way back. Try and keep it in the park. Thank <laughs> you. 
myself a nice margarita pizza whilst you wait in the traffic because we are not going anywhere anytime soon good morning everyone so it's the next day busted last night were incredible um i lost my voice towards the end i don't know if you can hear the end clip but yeah it was absolutely amazing love it i always love going there the atmosphere is amazing and you just always feel like you're at home there i just yeah really, really enjoy it um so yeah one thing though getting out of there last night was a nightmare um it took about half an hour just to even start our engine to leave the car park that we were in um, I think the whole traffic situation was at a complete standstill because obviously everyone was leaving at the same time. But we managed to get home around, I would say, I got home about half 11. It didn't finish too late. It finished about half past nine, I want to say. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, and it takes about an hour to get back to Bristol from Taunton. Um, it was a lot more easier getting back last night. Obviously, the traffic getting there was a complete nightmare because being bank holiday, the roads are just always busy. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along, extend the vlog a little bit and bring you with me today. Um, I have been sleeping for quite a long time. It is currently half past nine. I've been up, fed the dogs. I really enjoy waking up to the dogs. They just make your morning a little bit more special, full of love. And yeah, I just love it. So yeah, bring you guys along with me today. Um, I don't know how long this vlog's going to go on for because I am working nights tonight. So we'll see what happens. As I'm vlogging this, Doris is literally sat looking out the window. So I'll show you what she looks like because she looks so cute. There's little Doris, <laughs> just sat in the window. There she is. Good morning. Hello, sweet girl. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, there you go, little licky lick lick. She is the cutest. And this is another side of them that I just love. The chaos is real. I have no idea what they're barking at, but this is the real life of Cora. Complete chaos sometimes, especially when you've got dogs, if you know. You know. But yeah, they are just very, very vocal at the moment, especially in the morning. Um, it is quite hard to sleep on nights because of the way they are. They are getting a good looking out the window. Um, I try and keep it closed so that they don't react, but they can just hear every single sound going. They've got like some super sense hearing these dogs, honestly. Um, but yeah, we're going to go down and get some treats now entertain them for a little bit and take her for a walk so that's what we're gonna do hopefully that'll burn off some of the energy that i clearly have going on um and they're just very vocal today um i always call them my two barking singers because they're literally in sync every time one of them barks they both have to bark and that is it minds are lost i'm gonna go and sort this out and i'll see you guys downstairs when i make my breakfast come on are you starving you're starving! This is her little treat bowl. As you can see, they're clearly spoiled, um, but this is what she is looking for. Every morning after her food, she'll have one of these. So there you go. She's gonna take it out here now. Enjoy it by the back door. Good girl, you can eat it. What's this? Come on then. Good boy, take it. Yeah, nice. And that's him happy, and that's her happy. Let's go and feed ourselves. So now that crazy dogs are fed, we're going to have ourselves some breakfast as well. So let's see what we've got. I think I'm going to go for pancakes today because I need to use them up before they go off. So I've got myself some little mini pancakes from Aldi. Um, so I'll put those in a microwave and serve those with a little bit of Greek yogurt, maybe some honey. 
and some strawberries because outside we've actually got some homegrown strawberries growing so we're gonna have that with my pancakes um they're all looking really ripe and red hopefully the slugs haven't got to them let's go pick some strawberries let's go so here is our little fruit patch we've got going on fruit and veg we haven't got a lot going on this year but look at all these strawberries there are loads growing i feel like i need to go and get a basket for these hold on doris is gonna give us a hand with these Ready? This one looks nice. What's this one about? See, look how nice they are. Mm, she's gonna have one. <laughs> oh, that's why she came to help. <laughs> she can have that, hold on. You want that one? Good girl, you take it. Oh, the bugs have got to that one. Got a good little haul there so far though. Happy with that. Another one. This one I can leave to ripen the window, so I'm gonna leave that there. That's a cute little baby one. I'm gonna have that one as well. Take this one, leave it. These ones over here have been eaten quite a lot. That's a nice one there. That's going straight in my basket. Another one there. What about this one? Oh, pick that one as well. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that is the proper mother load there. Look how big that one is. Oh my God. Nice. And then what's this one? You can have this one, Doris. There you go. She likes strawberries. And that is, I think, as good as we're going to get today. What about that one down there? Cute. So that is today's strawberry haul. We're going to give them a little wash now and then have them with our breakfast. Our dogs absolutely love grass. So we've left this little patch here. Oh, and bees. Um, to let them have a little nibble on because they just seem to enjoy it. It's like a little garden cow. She's going back for more strawberries. <laughs> I used to give strawberries to Bruno all the time when he was a puppy, but now he's like sick of them. He never really takes them anymore. But yeah, he's just happy to munch on grass. Same for Doris. Doris and the dogs follow me everywhere. She's always waiting for the next handout of food. Aren't you? So yeah, I'm just going to have my little mini Aldi pancake. Just going to put a couple in the bowl. I'm going to put them in the microwave just to warm up a little bit so they're nice and warm for my breakfast. So as I wait for the pancakes to cook, I've got my little strawberries. I've given them a good little wash. So we're going to cut those up. I'm going to prepare the Greek yogurt and the honey. I always forget I've got to give a scoop of Greek yogurt to the dogs as well. Every time I make this for myself, I have to make them it because they absolutely love Greek yogurt. So I'm going to give them a little bit as well. So I'm just going to pour a bit of my honey over the yogurt because sometimes the Greek yogurt doesn't taste very nice. It tastes a little bit bitter for me. So a little bit of honey helps with that. And then with that, I'm going to have some grapes. So that is my breakfast and lunch for today. Because like I said, I'm on nights tonight. So... I won't be eating anything until about six or seven o'clock tonight. So that will help me sleep. My voice is still a little bit hit and miss, but um, we're just going to chill here now. I'm going to watch a little bit of Love is Blind, the reunion, because I think that came out yesterday. So we're going to watch that. Um, I don't normally watch that sort of stuff, but I just feel like it's a UK one for the first time. So I'm just getting into it and I enjoy watching it this time. When this came out, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to watch it, give it a go. Anything's better than Love Island at this point. Love Island is just so overdone now. And they do it twice a year, so I feel like that's kind of ruined it for me. So I don't really watch that anymore. Doris is always by my side, but I think it's because I've got food there. What are you doing? So I've just finished watching Love is Blind, The Reunion. A lot of plot twists there. I wasn't expecting most of those storylines to end like that, to be honest with you. Um, excuse my face, I've got a habit of picking it and I need to stop doing it. Um, so that's the reason why I flared myself up naturally. I don't know why I do it, but hopefully one day I'll get out of it. But yeah, so we are going to be making some food prep for work for the next couple of nights. Um, I'm kind of going to go for like a little mini roast dinner kind of vibe. Um, so I'm going to first off cook up some miniature roast potatoes that I picked up from Aldi. By the way, guys, I've got a habit of just wearing my pajamas like all day. Bit of garlic, bit of parsley, bit of rosemary. I don't really like putting too much garlic on. Sometimes it's a bit overpowering, especially on a late night. It just doesn't go down very well. Shake it all about. See, so yeah, that's my little mini roast potatoes for the week done. So I'm going to pop these into the oven for about 40, 45 minutes, let them roast up. It's really quick and easy to do. I just put them into a tray, season them, and job done. And then for my veg this week for work, I've got a broccoli, got some green beans, and some cabbage. So I'm going to quickly chop all this up, season it, and then put it in a pan to boil. Um, so I'm going to do that in 3, 2, 1. And that is it. That's all my veg chopped up and ready to go. I've also got this bag of leftover veg, like all the stumpy bits I'm going to put in a compost bin for Josh to fertilise all our plants with. If you're wondering what that brown patch is on the grass, that is Bruno's wee patch. Yep, that is his spot. <laughs> Without fail. Isn't that right, Di? So I'm going to leave all that to cook for about... 
30 minutes now. I think I've got about 20 minutes on the potatoes left already. I'm gonna get myself ready quickly. We're gonna walk the dogs, come back, and then go to sleep for our night shift. So we've just arrived at a little walking spot. So we're gonna take him around the field for a little bit, stretch his legs, get all that energy out. And yeah, it's a really nice hot day as well. So obviously I wore a jumper. I just never ever wear the right clothes for the right weather these days. I just can't get it right. All that excitement was energy for a nice dump. So yeah. Happy with himself as well. Are you gonna kick it up? Yeah! Yeah! Hi! Oh no, oh no. Uh oh. What are you doing? Oh no, not me. Oh shit. What happened there? Just fancy it. Hey! Random, aren't you? I'm now with Doris. Um, I don't walk them together just because they're a complete nightmare, to be honest with you. Lesson learned a long time ago with that one. But like I said to you guys before, typical British weather. I've taken my jumper off. I've left it at home this time because it was too hot carrying it around my waist as well. And it's literally windy and cold. <laughs> I can't believe it. My hat's blown off like several times as well. There she is. What's in my bag? Good girl. Yeah. Ready? Oh, come here. Ready. I know you love it. Ready. Fetch. Um, I am getting a little bit more tired now, I'm not going to lie, as the time's ticking on a little bit. It's actually three o'clock, so I don't think I'll be able to manage to get that much sleep in ready for tonight, but I'll probably get about three or four hours in if I can. Let's go. So back home now, I'm just feeding the dogs, um, ready for myself to go to sleep, so they're all satisfied and happy as well. I'm just going to quickly plate up my food ready for tonight and tomorrow, put those in the fridge ready as well, and then I'll be heading off to bed for my night shifts. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me pottering around my house for the day and seeing what I get up to, like, I don't know, in general, I guess. I do think I'll leave the vlog here just because I feel like there's nothing else going to happen now. I'm going to go sleep and I'm going to go to work, so there's nothing more exciting happening for the rest of the week either, to be honest with you. I've got a lot of stuff going on next week week so I will be posting a little bit more about that as the time goes on but yeah I am really looking forward to that but for now I'm going to crack on with work get out of the way ready for exciting week next week it's my mum's birthday it's my brother's birthday but yeah it's been really fun I really enjoyed busted last night I really enjoyed a little wholesome day at home as well with you guys um and let you into my kind of home life a little bit so yeah I'm gonna head off to bed now and I'll catch you guys again in another video bye